Hey guys, Bots here with another episode of What's in the Nerf Bin? Another bin we're gonna go through today, catalog, get it all documented for my records. I think I know what's in this bin. Could be wrong, because I have two of them that are equally as big. I have one that's even bigger, believe it or not. Well, let's dig in, let's see what we got. Okay guys, so we got a big bin today. Just gonna pop the lid off so you guys can see just how big it is. This is the size that we would actually use for shields, uh, for our nerf games and stuff. This bin has seen some abuse, some wear and tear. So mainly, it just stores nerf blasters now. And, uh, yep. This is exactly the bin I thought it was. First up, a nerf mega double breach. I always like the storage on the side here, as well as a loading door here. People generally didn't like this one. I thought it was okay. I mean, if you're using it for a cosplay or like a LARP piece, this is very, uh, very like in universe. Next, we got a 10 round for the Mega Motor Strike, and we also have the Mega Motor Strike right here. So that fits in nice and comfortable. Yeah, there's no batteries in these because they've been in storage. I used to have two Motor Strikes. I gave one to my brother in law, uh, so he has the other one, but. I did keep the extra motor strike mag. So, now I have two of them. I don't really run mega as a dedicated primary anymore. I used to, and people would use a lot of shields. Next, we have a Mega Roto Fury. Really fun, really dependable blaster. Early on, people used to get the worker kind of inserts that went into the barrel to shrink them down to fire uh, elite standard darts. We can get a lot of distance, a lot of damage out of them. But nowadays, this is just kind of a relic. If I have any complaints at all, I wish uh, there was Picatinny underneath this. I know people can 3D print anything, that's besides the point. Next, we got a Mega Magnus. Red, still has some warning precautions here. I always pick these up when I see them, they're good for integration. The Underslug Master Key, as I'm pretty sure a lot of you have seen. And also just a really good, decent secondary to have on your side when uh, she hits a fan, HVZ was. Next, we have a Chaos Mag, oh yeah. I um, used to have a Chaos back in the day. I don't anymore. I still hold on to the mags. I still collect them. Back in the day, the Chaos was Apex. Nowadays, uh, not so much. Next, we have the Nerf Rival. I think the Sidewinder, feel free to correct me. It has been a hot minute since I've used it. You also could unscrew it, so this way if you were lefty or righty, uh, you could have it on whatever side you wanted. So this way you could prime to your uh, heart's content. Uh, generally, if you do see them at stores, sometimes they don't have the priming bolt, so just be aware of that. I know a lot of people who have bought these and they haven't come with a priming bolt. Speaking of priming bolts, here we have the Nerf Rival Edge Mercury, which is a very fun, uh, very dependable blaster. Most people don't know this actually wasn't meant for war plinking, you know, it was actually meant for target shooting. Next in the bin, we got a Nerf Rival Helios the blows from the bottom of the grip very similar to the Apollo this is also white so it came out for the Phantom Core line I believe for the Nerf Rival line and uh, I really like that essentially instead of painting a blaster red or blue they just painted it white and they gave you flags and those flags are great for capture the flag or objective type gameplay speaking of Phantom Corps I got two white chronos I used to have a lot of these I had too many chronos at one point I was literally giving these away. I had maybe 20 chronos, which is way too many. I just kept two white ones. Uh, there might be more in here I have to check, but I know I kept two white ones at least. A Nerf Rival Finisher. Pretty cool, pretty fun little blaster. The main thing people remember about the Finisher is the mags were starting to change, as you can see. That's that extra little step there. Kind of like the mags that we saw with the uh, Pathfinder, so little blaster uh, really fun to actually make this fire half link darts apex not a lot of people know this blaster exists primes back on the top priming bar stays out kind of annoying but um, it's got a lot of power good AR the only issue I have with it is in order to load it with the rival rounds you have to like really kind of like finger bang them in there if you don't properly see them all the way towards the end the um, the performance is just terrible all right, next, a Nerf Mega Hotshot. Really like the Hotshot. A long time ago, these were great integrations. Essentially, you would kind of cut off the top part, epoxy it to any blaster you wanted. And not just did you get a second grip, but you got a second grip that was also a Mega Master Key. They also single down really well if you want to fire Elites or uh, Stefans or half link Darts, as we call them nowadays. A second Hotshot. So I actually have two of them. 
One I'm probably keeping just for preservability, collectability, the other I might use for a project. Next, the Nerf Mega Jolt, aka the Big Chuck. Basically, it's a Jolt with onboard storage, which I think was a great idea. And I liked it so much, I got two of them. Once again, you would also see these kind of use an integration very similar to the Hot Shock. I think the Hot Shock was a Big Lots exclusive though. The Ranger, I have one of these here. One of the first reviews I ever did for my channel was on the Ranger, so if you want to go check that out, I will link it up above. Next, the Nerf Rival Vision, which uh, I've had this one in storage for a while, and it is dusty. Uh, this is actually the one I reviewed on my channel. Gift from my brother, so I'm always going to keep this. I might mod it up, but uh, very sentimental to me. And, did somebody say Forerunner? Because I got one of those too. Once again, this is the one that I bought for review. You can totally make this look like one of the laser blasters from uh, Fallout. So I kind of like, I dig on that. That's the whole reason I've kept this around. A second Ranger, maybe for mod purposes. A Nerf Rival Knockout of the red flavor, as well as the blue flavor. So uh, one of each. A red takedown, followed by a second red takedown. Once again, the takedowns were very similar to the Kronos for me. I was finding these everywhere. And I was getting them like dirt cheap, $1.99, $2.99, and I would buy them, give them to people at the club, and uh, they were fun little entry blasters for Rival. And they're not a bad blaster, I actually like them a lot. I do like the Saturn more, but uh, the takedown is very handy, very convenient. And a blue Kronos, I guess I held on to a blue one just for um, color variants. A Mega Cyclone Shock, uh, once again, very similar to the Roto Fury. I've always loved this blaster, it's essentially the mega strong arm, a lot of fun here. The Nerf rival Heracles, aka the Kronos' big brother, or little brother depending on how you want to look at it. Essentially it is a Kronos, and then a Nerf rival charger, followed by a second Nerf rival charger. So I got chargers for days. Once again, these were blasters that came out kind of like at the end of what I think was the assumed rival life. Uh, they were the only rival blasters that came out at that time, but I snatched them up. I like the form factor. I like the kind of bull puppy design, even though they're not true bull pups. An Adventure Force Sentry, because um, why not? Had to get it. The main thing people don't like about the Sentry is the barrel is down here lower instead of up here. Loading of the Sentry is a bit odd. And also, the Adventure Force Liberator. Very fun. Shotgunny design. I still find these all the time from place to place. Uh, very fun little blaster. This one had a bit of wear and tear. I'm actively looking to uh, find a better one. This one was actually jammed and the kid or whoever had it tried to unjam it by forcing it, which you never want to force a blaster. You're just gonna do more harm than good. Really cool if you're into shotguns. <laughs> Next, I have a whole mess of the Nerf rival uh, 12 round mags. Yeah, I pick these up whenever I can. I used to have a lot more, I downsized a lot. I also had one six rounder hiding away. I think I kept this just for the sake of collectability, preservability. Slight change of angle, had a neighbor come over, had to talk to them real quick. They were like, what are you doing with all the Nerf guns? Like, um, they're Nerf blasters, first of all. But I digress. A Busby 12 round Mega Mech. I think this went to the Busby Tyrant. Uh, it has been a hot minute since I messed with that blaster. I don't even have one anymore. I lent it out one time out of war and I never got it back. So always be careful when you loan things out at Nerf Wars. Next we have a Mega Centurion mag. Yeah, I pick these up whenever I see them too. Two of the Busby Mega mag. I think these came with the boss. Once again, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. I have two of these. I used to have more. I used to have so many of these. People were throwing these at me. I downsized a lot and I kept two just for nostalgia's sake. All right, now we have a big boy, which is a Nerf Mega Centurion, which this is the one that I picked up a while back. Came of course with another Centurion mag, so I'm gonna toss that in there. And this scope, which I don't think this scope goes to this, I think this scope goes to a Fortnite blaster. If I'm not mistaken, feel free to correct me. But yeah, Centurion, you always need a Centurion. Although this one was purchased for a mod project, but this other one is uh, taking its sacrificial place. And that is my Sonic Eyes Mega Centurion. Once again, came with a mag and the bipod tripod thing that uh, it's supposed to come with. But essentially what I'm gonna do is gut out the internals, put it in an air tank, a Titan tank, uh, then we'll have some real fun. Oh, and last but not least, a couple of my little Valentine darts which were just thrown in there because uh, 
like Warhawk used to say, there's always a dart at the bottom of the bin. <laughs> in this case, it was two. So leave a like down below if you like the series, What's in the Nerf Bin. Comment, uh, do you know the names of any of the stuff that I might have mislabeled? It happens, I've had a lot on my mind, especially with moving. Share this video around if you thought it helpful, engaging, funny, goofy, informative. But all the same, I'll see you guys next time on The Battlefield.